Okay, hi, Paul Slatkus. I'm here with Bonnie Lee Sanders. Hello, Bonnie Lee. Hello, Paul Slatkus. Hey, I love Bonnie. Bonnie and I know each other for a long time. We know each other from our Montauk days, and Bonnie is actually a very highly awarded uh, cabaret singer and uh, producer. Just did a show here at the Triad. Uh, Mae West somehow showed up. I don't know how she did that, but uh, Bonnie <laughs> could pull off anything. And... Uh, Sarah Johnson Camplin helped her as well, I hear. Absolutely. I interviewed her and uh, very excited. And so I hear the show went well. Tell us about the show and uh, what, what's going on, because you have some updates, I believe, even. I do. Come Up and See Me has been a part of my life. Okay. A major part of my life. Um, Jessica James, an actress way back, uh, approached me. Uh, she was in Gemini, and she had written a script about Mae West and heard about me as a songwriter and wasn't happy with the score that she had. So she asked me if I would write a score for it. I sought out my best friend from high school. We re-met at a reunion and I met her name was Ellen Schwartz. We were like that, she passed away about five years ago. And we hooked up on this together and we collaborated and we wrote and we rewrote and we changed versions and new songs and we have a trunk and anyway so now it just uh was produced by sarah johnson at the triad in new york the triad theater uh starring Haley swindle which was my dream may west and we had a cast of eight and i think we're on our way our aim is broadway yeah, 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 yeah. so what is it about may west that uh uh captured you uh, well, I was not even thinking about her when I was approached, you know, to write. I was story. always thinking of her, but you go ahead. <laughs> I bet you were. <laughs> and then as time went on, I got more and more fascinated by her. I mean, she was so gutsy and, and she did it her way. And, you know, she, she's very relevant to today for the women's movement, Me Too movement. Uh, she told it like it is. She... Uh, had a, a nice relationship with uh, black people, gay people, men, women. You know, she was very open and out there and also very frowned upon and threatened because she broke all the rules or, or she didn't even, you know, she did it the way she wanted to. And I like people like that, so. All right. Well, you're an entertainer and uh, yeah. sometimes those entertainers like everybody. <laughs> Not everybody. I'm discriminating. Oh, okay. I'm discriminating. <laughs> Almost everybody. But you like creative types. You like people that are open-minded in general. Right. All righty. Well, that's great. So, so I hear you have a video of the show. Maybe we can all at some point... Uh, get together and uh, you'll need more investors, right, for the show uh, to make it uh, go to the next level? Exactly. So how do you do that? Will you have a, an event or how will you, uh, in case anybody's interested, they can contact us here at Good News and we can introduce you to that. That would be wonderful, you know, for you to keep that line open with yeah, yourself. Yeah, yeah, that's the beauty of what we do. Yeah, I mean, we, we've gathered fans over the years. I keep lists. I have guest books when they come in people that uh, have expressed an interest, you know, we don't let them go. We, we seek them out again. Okay. And we, you know, if I can get spots on TV or uh, the internet or radio, and I have cabaret singers around New York performing songs from the score, it goes back to Chapel Music, um, loved our score. And um, they were seeking artists for it. That was a while ago, that contract ran out but but to tell you when we first began this project we won a contest with the Buxton Opera House in England that was sponsored wow. by Andrew Lloyd Webber wow. and we won out of 400 musicals wow. and you know then I, I can't so many people either passed away since then and circumstances weren't understood and so we let that go that workshop go in England and we shelled it for a while. There was illnesses, and there were so many things. And now, back with the 
with a, new, a new fresh version. There we go. Congratulations. And uh, Thank you. you've always been doing good, good things for the world out there in Montauk and other places, uh, service people. And, uh, you know, you're a benefit minded, uh, socially conscious uh, Good person. Let me that's ask you two. That's why we know each other. That's why we know each other. You're good news. There it is. Yeah, right. Two last <laughs> quick questions. One is because we're involved with the International Day of Peace, of which I think you probably know about, and uh, yeah. it's September 21st. I've asked many people, what does peace mean to them? So if you could say your name and what does peace mean to you? My name is Bonnie Lee Sanders. What does peace mean to me? It means everything to me. It means um, exist. how we can exist in a world together. And uh, when there is not peace, there's not hope. There's not sharing. There's there's not joy. Uh, there's no reason why people have to get out there and, and fight each other. We should not have greed. We should be able to share and have a peaceful existence between everyone and accept each other for what we are. Beautiful. We have a channel for love now. This is new for us. What does love mean to you? And say your name again, if you don't mind. Bonnie Lee Sanders. I don't think I can live without love. Love is, is uh, an essence of, that we need in our lives. It's nurturing, it's caring, it's respect. It's, uh, it's all, you know, it's necessary to, to enjoy our lives. I couldn't agree more. All right, Bonnie, thanks so much for sharing with us today. Sure, Paul. It you take care. It's my pleasure. All righty. Do you have a website also? I do. And it is? Um, hmm. It's, uh, <laughs> I guess it's, wow. It's Bonnie Lee Sanders. I got my own website yeah. recently. We have, I have two. I have one, Come Up and See Me, the musical. That's very important. Come up and see me, the musical, because you can hear the songs, see scenes from the shows. Oh, good. Meet the characters. Good. Hear a lot about it. And the other one is Bonnie Lee Sanders' website, the writer, as a writer. So, yes. All righty. Okay. Thanks, Bonnie. Thanks, Paul.